Hi, Cog here with a quick tour of the Freelancer from the patch 8 of the RSI hangar module. Uh, I have some of the outstanding bugs that I've noticed with the Freelancer as well as some of the design features that I find fairly notable. Um, okay, so we're going to start on the outside of the ship here. There's a couple of things that I'm pretty excited to see what it re what comes from is the uh, what that is. It looks like a hatch to me, but it looks like it could be, you know, who knows. But I'm interested to see. Uh, it looks like there's a clamp on the front. I don't know if that's to attach new modules or to hold on to something. But that looks like fun. Um, I'm loving the oversized uh, nozzles on the bottom of it. really makes it look like it could be suitable for atmospheric flight. As far as this nodule at the bottom here, it looks to me like it's going to be a tractor beam. It seems like it makes the most sense. Uh, this will be an exploration vessel, and so having the tractor beam where you can easily take core samples um, for whatever you're looking at just seems like it makes sense. Um, the most reasonable explanation that I've seen so far, especially after October's issue of Jump Point, is that it's where the sensor module moved. There was originally a sensor cluster in the nose, but when they went back to give it this kind of elbow, chin... I've <laughs> seen one description that it was a banana um, shape to the hull. They, the sensor package looks like it got dropped down into that. Um, turrets look cool. The overall proportions of the ship look cool. I don't like the missiles at all where they are. Uh, it looks like it's tacked on. Um, I can tolerate the little winglet that looks like it's stamped out of sheet metal, but I kind of wish that it flew. kind of wish that it melded in with the rest of the hull a little better, but that's not that big of a deal. The missiles, however, don't make a whole lot of sense to me, especially from the work in progress and from what it looked like to me. This is a rotary joint, which means that the engine is supposed to rotate uh, 90 degrees up and down so that you can do VTOL. I would like to see that it can rotate 180 for a hard break. But in any of those cases, if the nacelle moves at all, then you have a fixed missile rack on an articulated engine pod. So let's say you're trying to shoot somebody over there, and uh, <laughs> while climbing or, ro or rolling, your engine's shifted, so your missile's going to fly up and over, and it's going to waste a lot of fuel and easily be dodged. Um, if you are noticing while I'm moving, the jitteriness in the camera, that happened, or first became noticeable after patch 8. Um, it has to do with the model of the feet moving after you stop. So about a full second after you move, I wanted to say it's about 15 degrees, it twists. And if that animation was in there before, it didn't use to disturb the camera as much as it does. Um, so that's one of the bugs that they're looking at. One of the other things to notice is if I turn really hard, it looks like my torso stretches out to about 6 feet long and that, I don't know, maybe there's something that can be done about that. Maybe not. Um, okay, next thing. I do like the vectoring of the engines. It makes sense. I would like to hope that even as big as it is, it has some maneuverability. Otherwise, this is going to be a sitting duck. Um, tail turret's great. Uh, really goes for, you know, if you're a merchant and you're running from pirates, at least you can shoot at them while you're running away. And if you're a smuggler and you're running from police, you can shoot at them while you're running away. So that's pretty cool. Um, would like to see this be a connection point for something, maybe a drop pod for fuel or, I don't know, something to go underneath there. That, that looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, last, is there anything else on the outside? Okay, so that you know that all looks pretty cool. I do like the uh, the stairwell here. That's that's a nice touch. Okay, so we're gonna go up inside, and you come out in the edge of the crew compartment. So we're gonna start at the back of the ship and work our way forward. Like the ladder to the turret. That's a nice touch. Um, I would hope that eventually, as development progresses, that we don't have this weird zone where we suddenly get a use that I'd actually have to walk up to a panel and touch it. Um, really glad that y'all added this extension 
to the ramp and makes it much more useful where it wasn't this used to arc all the way down and it was really steep and didn't really make a whole lot of practical sense um, speaking of practical sense the crane can't move side to side it doesn't move out you know to where it can pick something up off of a truck and it doesn't move up or down um, doesn't really make much sense why it's there if you know it can't swing out here because it get in the way of the turret if it were to come all the way out here you know it might be a little more useful if it could go up or down but that's not the case and if I'm driving it this far up the ramp anyway to hand it to a crane to move it another three feet that just you know, it seems like a waste of time um, so I would like to see that go away if you know if it can't be worked around another thing is this cargo hold feels about 50 percent too small um, this looks to be about the width of what a cargo container is going to be from the work in progress that was just released um, if that's the case then there won't be any room to walk down this cargo hold when it's full so you won't be able to get here you probably won't be able to get to that you won't be able to get to the back turret um, so if it were widened out a little bit more to where we could fit one more panel of this, then this would be the walkway and your containers could sit to either side. Uh, I think that would make a lot of sense. I don't... I would like to see this ramp go away, or this slope in the hole go away too. Um, you know, flat containers don't do so well on flat, on, you know, on sloped surfaces. So it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a cargo hold. Um, the walls are way too thin for the amount of stuff that's supposed to go through it. I mean, the engines are supposed to be there. Presumably, fuel is somewhere around here, not just in the nacelles. Um, because of all the attitude thrusters that are on the main hull, there really has to be room for that piping, and it really doesn't look like there's any any place for fuel, unless that's, that's supposed to be, but then I don't know why the crane would be going in it. Um, Yeah, so it just it the back just feels too narrow. It it's not thick enough. It just it feels like you're sitting inside of a tin can and there's supposed to be stuff inside the walls of the can. These ladders don't make sense. I mean, yes, there's these hatches here, but that's a long way to be reaching from a ladder. Um it's also kind of in the way of this console. Uh secondary compartment, cargo compartment I'm looking forward to. Um from the work in progress that it looks like this is supposed to swing down uh, the outside hull doesn't reflect that though and so that's going to need to change um, again this crane here can't go sideways can't go up and down and what's the point of having a crane that can only move 10 feet that I have to lift up so that it can move 10 feet so that I can pick it up again it just it doesn't make sense um, maybe if this is supposed to be like a bay to hold a drone or I don't know something of that nature something that could be deployed that might be more interesting um, the turrets are mounted about right here on the outside the two the two twin guns um, again the hole just feels too thin to mount that it does I don't really feel like it could support the weight I mean Granted, it's in space, so you don't have weight, but if you're doing atmospheric flight, I feel like they would just rip open. Um, also, there's not enough room for the power supply, capacitors, anything like that that you would expect to be behind major guns. Uh, this is supposed to be engineering, according to one of the, the blueprints that we saw, um, which leads to the question about crew capacity. We have four seats in the cockpit, um, that presumably need to be manned. We have a gunner's turret and then we have engineering. So that's six crew. The documents only say two, so perhaps that's two players and then the rest of the crew is NPCs and that would make sense, but there's only living quarters for four. We've got four bunks and you know four chairs, so to have two more positions that don't have bunks it seems a little off. Um, these tables here, this has already been declared to be the exploration sensors 
for the ship since this is going to be the king of exploration. Um, this console is going to be able to fold up and the table is going to be able to fold down and the seats are going to be able to tuck back underneath the table. So that's going to be really nice to be able to get those out of the way once it's animated. Um, really cool idea. Whoever came up with that, good job. Uh, the submarine feel for the inside that was described by one of the designers um, y'all really y'all really hit the nail on the head with this um, everything feels like it's supposed to be stowed away and tucked away and there's efficient use of space maybe a couple more compartments up here could be there or something but in all it really gives a feel of being in a submarine so yeah you did a really good job with that um, would like to see these chairs be usable at some point in the future not a big deal right now um, okay so before I get into the bug descriptions I want to make a point here because this will be important later note that this is properly stowed um, I just started the client so that is properly stowed so that'll be important later when I get to that bug um, here's a problem I can't walk between the chairs so I have to jump to be able to get over it. There. Oof. Okay. Um, I would like to see this widened out, or at least the chair shifted over a little bit. I know it has to line up with this, and so that's kind of tricky. But maybe as part of the redesign to widen the cargo hold, some of this will open up a little bit, and we won't have that issue. Um, I love these consoles. I really hope that they actually will be part of the exploration kit, and that you'll have to interact with them. Um, they're really pretty, really looking forward to those. Um, okay, so now we're going to get in the seat. Animation's really cool. Quick bug with this, as you turn, you go all the way to the side when you release it. It seems to go all but one step of the animation back to neutral. It doesn't ever seem to quite level back out to neutral. Vertical does fine, but the side to side doesn't. And now the infamous visibility problem. Um, no engineer in his right mind would put pillars in a place, in the places that they're at. Um, as soon as you sit down in the chair, you're staring directly at a pillar. If you look all the way right, you're staring directly at a pillar. You look all the way left, you're a little bit to the left of a pillar. You look up, you're centered on a pillar. You look up right, and you're centered on a pillar. So pretty much at any, I mean, it's it's a big deal because these are these are the cardinal points. You know, this is where people look. You know, if, if you go to cross the street, you look left, you look right, and at any given point, at least you know 30% of your view is obstructed. Which is this is the only ship that I've seen so far that has this much visibility problems. Everything else has much more visibility. You've got, you know, the Aurora, which is supposed to be kind of general purpose, has that great little bubble canopy, feels like a little personal submarine. Um, the 300 series has great view from the canopy. It, you can go the entire way around, and as long as you don't go down to look at the consoles, um, you've got complete unobstructed visibility. The Hornet, really good visibility. It, it's if I remember right, it's a little bit more restricted than the 300 series, but it's still pretty good. Um, the Avenger, from the concepts, I haven't seen the model of it, but from the concepts, it looks like it's about to have the same visibility as the 300 series. Um, and then we get to the const uh, the Connie, the Constellation. It has that big, massive Aurora-like cockpit on it. And yes, it, ha it can serve the role of a command ship, but it's classified as a freighter. So for a freighter that has minor, you know, that secondary combat capability to have as much visibility, if not more, than the Aurora, and this, which is supposed to be the king of the exploration ships to have such pitiful visibility, um, there's a reason why the people who are looking forward to this ship are so annoyed with the pillar positions. Um, to me, it looks like... Here, I'm going to get out of the seat real quick so I can use the pointer. Okay. It looks to me like these were going to be windows, and then something happened, and they didn't get textured. Um, I know that these from the... Uh, 
Oh my. Okay. And it, there. Okay. I know that this padding material here was original. It was always supposed to be padding. Um, this looks like it's supposed to be a window, possibly. I think it would be really good if it was, um, or at least could be opened like a sunroof. Um, these should definitely be windows. You might do this up to maybe about there to that line to be windows. That's about where it connects, maybe maybe a little bit in front of it. Um, this this pillar, if it could move over just not not even much, maybe two widths of it as to where it's about there, or maybe to the middle, then that would get it out of the way for the most part. And then this one, I think, would make more sense if it came here. At least then it wouldn't be in the way of the pilot. Um, it doesn't really matter for these guys, whatever they're going to be doing, to see out the windows. Otherwise, there'd be windows next to them. Um, and, you know, this one, two widths over, and that one back to about there. And I think that would really open it up. I think people would stop complaining about it. Um, when you think of an exploration submarine, you have a lot of visibility, and this one's lacking quite a bit of it. So, I mean, it does give you that space trucker feel, but it's, it just doesn't give you the I'm a really good exploration ship feel. And that, I, I think that's a problem. Um, okay, let's see. There's something else than I needed to show. Okay, um, I would, let's see, other personal hopes. I would like to see a bulkhead on that archway right here. Um, I think that that would make a lot of sense from a design standpoint, especially if this is going to open because then we could, we could very easily argue that this is the airlock. And so you could seal that door seal that door and then the bottom swings open and I can do an EVA. There currently doesn't look like there's any EVA hatch on this ship. This opens up to go out the bottom, that goes out the back, but no pilot in his right mind would ever open the back hatch when he's full of cargo. It just if, if somebody bumped into you, all your cargo would fly out the back. If you didn't fully depressurize, all your cargo would fly out the back. It, it's just a lot of risk. <laughs> if you're not paying attention, somebody could sneak in and grab your cargo while you're doing your EVA without you noticing. You know, it's, it's just risky. It, it doesn't make sense. Um, so I would like to see that. Other than that, it's a beautiful ship inside and out. I'm really looking forward to see what they do with this. Um, to my knowledge, this is the next one to get variants. So if they come out with an actual Explorer variant of this, maybe it would have more windows, better visibility on it. And this would be the base variant. Um, I'd be perfectly okay with that. Uh, really looking forward to it. Okay, last thing. This bug tends to cause problems where you have to reset the client. So if you notice everything's stowed away, even in the animation, everything's stowed away pull it down, you open it. This side also has the doesn't quite go back to neutral problem. Um, I mean it's symmetrical so the visibility is just as bad. But here's here's where this bug happens. People saying they get stuck on the left side. This is why. Animation shows you getting out in the aisle. Now you're standing in the chair and this isn't stowed away. So you're being hugged between the geometry of the controls and the geometry of the chair. Sometimes you can jump out and get out of it. Sometimes you can't. A lot of times you can't. Which usually results in you having to restart the client. So, let's get in here. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's the freelancer. Uh, alpha. I'm Cog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully this is helpful to the devs and hopefully this gives a little bit more insight to people who haven't had the opportunity to climb inside one of these to see, you know, to really see what the frame of view, field of view is. 
Um, there have been a lot of screenshots on this where people have painted over it to try to give an idea of what it could look like, but it still seems that a lot of people haven't quite grasped what the problem is. I mean, they don't want it to be super... There is merit to saying that this shouldn't be a fighter craft and shouldn't be expected to be a fighter craft, but there's also merit in it's an exploration ship. It should look like an exploration ship. You should be able to see what you're exploring. Um, okay, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the verse.